Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We're going to talk about common mistake people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, tools that you may not actually need. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Super quick, very helpful video for any of you trying to find where the engine computer, also known as engine control module, fuses, relays are located on Chevy Equinox, that generation here from year 2010 to year 2017. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can expect to find them. We will talk about hidden fuse boxes. Guys, this is information that can potentially save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And by the way, guys, if you need to buy any replacement parts, tools, fuses, relays, we will share that information in the description of the video below. Guys, you can see where we get most of our tools and supplies from as well, so let's start on it now. Before we start guys, let us tell you quick a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We show you how to fix almost anything guys. Engines, transmissions, bodywork, fuses, relays. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the garage is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 19,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead guys and start on it now. So guys, where you can expect to find the engine computer, engine control module, fuses and relays come, we will show you here on that generation Chevy Equinox. Quick advice guys, there will be hidden fuse boxes in that Chevy Equinox that 9 out of 10 owners do not know where they are located, that's why we made one special video on our YouTube channel that's called Chevy Equinox fuse box location and diagram a video that can save you a lot of money. And what we guys need to do here, we need to open the hood and facing the engine on the right side here guys, that's on the driver's side, you see the brake fluid reservoir next with you have a fuse box there is one tap here one there you kind of like squish them together lift the cover up and underneath you're going to find a fuse box that has a layout that looks like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below Multiple fuses relays will need to be checked today and please make sure you stand to the end because there is other information we want to share with you as well guys but things that you need to check first will be fuse number 20 very important fuse that you see right here the next fuse that we need to check guys is fuse number 42 the 20 amp fuse right here check it guys super important fuse after that we're going to fuse number 52 which is right here check this one guys next we're going to go to fuse number 53 okay that's a 10 amp fuse under the relay right here you see that's fuse number 53 guys and next we need to check relay 66 this is the engine computer relay right here if you guys still have problems with the engine computer ecu what you guys may need to check is ignition switch fuses and relays and uh ABS, traction control module fuses and relays and transmission control module fuses and relays because all these systems really work together so if one doesn't work correctly it can cause problems with the other one we'll have the videos on the channels uh, on the channel if you need help with that guys as well guys now one very quick advice from us if you open guys the interior fuse box we want to show you you have two kinds of different fuses and relays here but in the engine fuse box you have all kinds of different fuses relays jk's fuses mini fuses relays now guys uh, always keep some spare ones if you're in the middle of nowhere let's say you need a fuse for a fuel pump you don't have a replacement one you are stuck always get some spare ones put them in the glove box for a peace of mind we will share guys the information in the description of the video below where you can get replacement fuses relays parts tools as well well guys so thank you for watching hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time